Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a favourites video. So this is kind of new to me. So if I do do something wrong then you know I am kind of new to this. So anyway yeah I'm going to show you what I'm really liking now and for this month. So I hope you enjoy. So today I'm going to start off with what I have on my lips and I have this which is by MUA and this is from their, I'm guessing their luxury um, collection and this is called Reckless. So this is the Velvet Lip Gloss Lipstick. So it's like, it comes out as lip gloss like that, but then it dries velvety. So there is nothing left behind on my hands. So it's non-transfer and it's really nice and I feel like it won't come off so. I also like the fact that it's got really strong pigmentation so as you can see on my lips it's it's a really strong red so it doesn't come out like a different colour so it's true to what it shows here and um, they have more colours but um, I only got these ones. They're £3 each and I got these from Super Drugs and I really like them and I'm definitely going to be buying more. Now something similar is by a brand called Makeup Revolution which is one of my favourite brands because they're so reasonably priced so like anyone can get them and I got this one, this, this beautiful purple, I love purples like this and um, this is practically the same, it's a velvet lip gloss lipstick and um, it's exactly the same applicator so it dries exactly the same so it's non-transfer but the thing is with these ones these come off or they can come off with baby wipes because I usually use baby wipes to get rid of some stuff than using makeup wipes so I use baby wipes to get rid of it and this does come off quick with baby wipes unless you put quite a lot of layers on if you put quite a lot of layers on it will take some rubbing to do to get them off so yeah but I really like these colors and this is Salvation Velvet Lacquer. Now for my face, I only use Maybelline foundations for some reason because I really like the brand. I love Maybelline so much. So this is what I've used on my face today and it's what I usually use. I used to use the Better Skin Foundation, 10 Ivory, the same colour as what I'm using or what I always use. But I really like the coverage on this and it's really true to my skin tone compared to the other foundation that I use. I feel like this one really blends in with my skin better than the other one and I really like the fact that it's like really nice and smooth and you don't really feel it on your face so it's not, it doesn't feel really cakey so I really like that. Continuing with lips, I really like this Clinique Super Balm Moisturising Gloss and this is in Black Honey. And I really like the lipstick that goes with it and it's a really pretty lipstick. It's in, it's called Almost Lipstick. The thing is, it's called Almost Lipstick because it doesn't come out that pigmented. It's like, it's like a tinted lip balm in a way because if I show you a swatch here, this is how it comes out. So it's not really pigmented but it really does moisturise your lips and I don't use this big one, I keep this, this one in my makeup box but I use a mini version with this so I put the mini lipstick on and then I put this on top and it makes my lips super glossy and super moisturised like all day and usually I don't really like lip glosses because they're sticky and like if my hair's flying in my face and it just sticks to my lips, it's just, it's icky. But I feel like this is really nice and it really moisturises my lips well, which I like. Continuing with my face, I really like this. And this is Maybelline Superstay Powder. And I used their matte maker powder and it didn't really last as long as this. And I think this one's really good because I feel like it does last a long time because I've had my makeup on for a long time and I've put this on and my oil because I get oily on my nose my t-zone so I get really oily and sometimes I touch my nose and I can like feel the oily residue and I'm like ill like I thought it was meant to you know protect that and prevent it but that happened with the matte makeup but with this this actually keeps it like non oily so once I put this on, I don't have to worry about anything, so I really like this and I would recommend it. So yeah, this is good. And this is in 30 Sand. So eyebrows. Eyebrows are important to me. I mean, I don't 
fill them in so much that they look like blocks like you know like straight cut like like I drew it and cut it out for the scalpel and stuff like no I like it to be soft and like natural looking because I do have I still have you know quite a lot of hair on my eyebrows but I do have a sparse like here so I mean it kind of does need filling in so I use this pencil and I use this gel and using these both is just amazing especially that my hairs my eyebrows hairs are super super rebellious like they're probably like they're probably like facing downwards now or something like the hairs are popping out of place but this really does keep it in place this um, sculpting brown mascara so it's got this type of brush to it so it's like a mascara looking thing but it really helps when you brush it in on your eyebrows because it really keeps it in place which I like and this pencil so I was in Victoria station and I got this and my mom told me about it there was a place where they had like a beauty section and obviously I had to go there and um, I went there and I bought a couple stuff and I bought this eyebrow pencil because I was looking for an actual black pencil because the pencils that I used to use were like dark brown and it was really obvious that I had dark brown but I really wanted something that was true to my hair colour so it was obviously a, a dark black and like a really dark colour so I, I bought this and I was happy I bought this and I tried it and I really liked it and I like the fact that it had this brush at the end because I have, I have a collection where they give you like brushes and stuff but I like to have the brush at the end so it's much more easier so I can swap it around so I don't have to keep picking up a pencil and you like doing back and forth so it just makes everything much more easy you know oh yeah and of course I could not live without these my Real Technique brushes now I have this and these and um, NYX picks I have hers as well but I literally love these brushes these are probably one of my favorite like brushes in the world I don't care but um, I'm going to be buying their bold metals collection soon I can't wait for that I love their brushes I, I, I just think they're just perfect for anyone to buy they're completely affordable I mean obviously it took me time to actually get them because I'm still in school I still got things to buy like for photography I've got to buy resources for that so obviously I have to balance it out but obviously you're thinking oh but you have time to buy makeup I can't resist that either but I mean these brushes are really good especially for the quality and how cheap they are I think it's really good how much they're going out for and I think that everyone I mean everyone does and nearly all people have it who are makeup artists but I believe everyone should have them even if they're not makeup artists they're, it's just so helpful to do your makeup and it just makes everything much more easier you know so I really like those brushes and I'm going to get like the whole collection and yeah I love those brushes they're so soft oh yeah another thing I like about this lip velvet lacquer thing is that when I speak it doesn't go on my teeth that's what I hate about wearing lipsticks because when I'm talking and I'm like smiling and everything I don't want lipstick to be all up in my teeth and I'm like hey that was so funny ha 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 and then I have like red all up in my teeth let's that really hurts me that hurts my feelings it really does eyelashes my favourite eyelashes, 100% will always be Ardell's 117s and those are the natural styles. But then I found this. And once I saw the price, I was like, what? Look how beautiful, I mean, I'm even wearing them today, if you can see. But um, I got these for 87p. I know, 87p. So these are actually beautiful obviously once you pull them out they've got a small little string at the, each end so they can actually stay in here all you have to do is cut them off it's nothing you know nothing that hard for anyone to do because I saw people complaining about it but you know do you not have scissors at home but um, you just cut off the ends and then get your glue and stick it on and they look beautiful like I put mascara through them and they look like my natural lashes I'm not even kidding I think they're gorgeous I mean you might not think it but I think they do I think they look so pretty and um, I really like them for 87p what 
these could practically look exactly the same as Isla ones and like some Ardell ones like and they're like five pounds and I got this for 87p so you know you can be the judge of that but I think that's super cheap and yeah I like those and again, Makeup Revolution. I love Makeup Revolution so much. Oh my god. And um, I have this palette. And this is Sugar and Spice. And it has these in it. Such beautiful colours. And the reason why I really like this is because they have these beautiful blushes and they have these two highlighters. It's an all in one. I used to use Emiway's Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter and that was an iridescent gold. It was a really nice uh, white one. But now I have this one here, which is so beautiful. It's, I love it. I'm wearing it today as well. And I'm also using this color, this one today. So it's kind of light on the cheeks. I made sure I dusted it lightly on my cheeks. And I think this is awesome. I got this for six pounds, I believe, and it's great. Makeup Revolution are so affordable, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I found them, I'm so glad I found them. And speaking of Makeup Revolution, I wanted to show everyone my lipstick collection of theirs. So I put it all in colour, you know, order, and I have these, and I also have these, right here, oh. these ones, and I love them. They're so pigmented. So I'll show you one colour or one or two. So you'd probably expect you probably maybe expect this one to look kind of crappy. Here's a swatch of the yellow. So it is pigmented still, it looks super like glowy, but it's actually quite awesome. And um, and then this one, which is a really nice shade, I don't even think I've tried this yet. No, nope, this is the first swatch I've ever done with this one. Oh, that's nice. They're so beautiful. Like, they're so... These lipsticks are only a pound. Like, come on. Come on now. This is a smart decision. Can't even speak because I'm so surprised with it. But, um, yeah, these are awesome. I love these lipsticks. They're the, they're, they're the actual best. I don't care. They're so good. Now, this is something different. It's not really related to makeup because it's, it's related to hair, but... I thought this is awesome and I use this a lot and I kind of recently, I don't know if, well recently, maybe last month or two ago, but I bought this. It's a uh, mousse and you spray it on your hand and it obviously turns into mousse and it like expands and everything and you rub it in and you put it all in your hair and it gives you volume. But I use this because it smells so good. It smells so good. It smells of raspberries and it's just amazing. You spray it in your hand. Well, I spray it in my hand and then put it all in my roots and everything and all in my, like everywhere. So it kind of gives it a plump and then also it smells so good. So if I walk past someone or if I walk past somewhere and the wind's blowing, it's just gonna like spread out the raspberry smell and everyone's gonna be like, mm, what's that smell? It's my hair. So, you know, it is, it's really good and I really like this. So yeah, I really would recommend this because it smells so good. Yes. And that's it for the video and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It was something different and I hope you guys liked it. So if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I don't like me living under your spotlight, baby. If you treat me right, our hands on deck, on the front, on the back, just like that, like that. Enjoyed this. It it was something different. <laughs>